It's a very special day on the Wake campus. This building will be the first to be named for an African American and the second for a female professor. The family of Dr. Maya Angelou is very appreciative of the Wake Forest decision to name a residence hall in her honor. I am positive that she is looking down on us from her celestial heights and smiling upon us. It was a private ceremony for family and friends of Dr. Angelo. The celebrated poet first spoke on this campus 44 years ago. The five-story building bearing her name opened last month on the south side of campus. It's designed to house 224 students. Dr. Angelo was remembered today as a towering figure at Wake Forest and on the international stage. She reminded us that we're all human, that we have the power to love, to laugh, forgive, and to rise. Among the guests is Melissa Harris Perry, a former student and now the Maya Angelou Presidential Chair, and singer-songwriter Valerie Simpson. Right now, students who lived abroad during the fall semester are living in the residential hall, but starting in the fall, it will house first-year students only. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Wanda. History making lookalikes took over the gym at the Guilford at a Guilford County School today. It was all part of the Black History Month Living Wax Museum at Jesse Warren Elementary School. Second grade students researched famous African Americans and today take a look. They dressed up just like them and then when other students pressed an imaginary button, they came to life to share their stories. Teachers say the students are learning much more than just facts about history. But I think the main thing they've learned is um, how important people are, no matter what their skin color is, um, and some of the important contributions that the famous African Americans have made. Teachers say the students were really excited about this project. Well, a pretty drive home from work tonight, and let's check on traffic here. I-40 westbound of Jonestown Road in Winston-Salem. Quite a few cars out there. Volume is up. It's the end of the week, but so far, so good as far as major congestion is concerned. Well, changes, not surprisingly, are coming to Charlotte Douglas Airport. The airport wants to make the fence around the airfield quite a bit taller, and here's why. Earlier this week, as you might have heard, a plane hit a deer during takeoff. It caused a fuel spill, and the plane had to go back to the runway. Airport crews inspected the fence, and they don't think the deer came through it. They believe the deer hopped over it. So they're hoping to make that fence about 10 feet taller to keep not only animals but people from climbing over. Well, if you have a newborn at home, there's a chance they could be watching a mission to Mars by the time your little one's in high school. This is pretty cool. A launch this weekend will hopefully get Elon Musk and his entire team one step closer to their goal. The SpaceX team is set to launch a Falcon 9 rocket from Kennedy Space Center in Florida tomorrow morning. Several months ago, one of the rockets actually blew up, as you see here on the launch pad, because of a fueling problem. Well, this weekend's rocket is a reusable one, and it gets crews one step closer to the big plan of sending humans to Mars. Hmm. Are we really going to Mars? Eventually, we are. That's the ultimate destination, and I think we can get there in the 2030s. If the weather cooperates, the SpaceX Falcon 9 will launch tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock Eastern. It's really cool. And our weather here is cooperating, isn't it? It, it sure been. is. A clear sky tonight, clear day today, meaning lots of sunshine, and it warmed up. We knew it would be a nice one, but it got close to 70 degrees today. Mm. Woo -woo. And that's it. not it. We're warming up <laughs> even more just